Okay, let's continue a little bit with uh, Seaside Components. I've created um, a reference to my component in two different windows. One is, well, let's refresh this. Let's refresh it again. I see I haven't saved, so let's refresh it. And let's refresh it. I was experimenting earlier. Okay, so one window is being referenced in my um, wiki, and I've got some markup to add a component. The other is being referenced directly in Seaside without markup. It's just a, a Seaside application that is displaying a page. Whereas with this, it's displaying the page inside another page. Well, what does this mean? Well, let's, let's go back. Let's uh, create something. Save it. Refresh. And you notice this page now displays that bit of text I added. Whereas this page also displays it. That's cool. But what does Seaside do that's, that's so nice? Well, let's create a new um, method. Call it render HTML. HTML. Render HTML content on. And we're going to delete all of this. And we're going to save it. And now, we're going to call that particular function, or that particular method, within our render content method. And when we save it, well, you won't see any real change. But notice I just changed the... Uh, the source code of the web page on the fly by uh, switching methods around and I haven't I haven't done anything as far as uh, as having to stop the program and restart it the web pages are live I make a change and refresh the page and it changes likewise let's say render anchor content on save it and now when we save it and refresh again the behavior of the pages hasn't changed even though I've changed the source code around now I have two separate methods that I can sit there and play with independently of each other, which simplifies uh, the web programming tremendously. And I can still switch back and forth and see what changes I've made. So let's go back to a different um, thing. Um, this is my seventh test component, which does the factorial code. And I'm going to render a simple form. Render content on. Um, let's see. Let's grab a template for a form. It's not going to work as is because I don't have those particular methods and functions defined, or methods and parameters defined, but we at least get the, the skeleton for the class. And now we go back and paste it into our render content on. And let's modify it. Let's see. For now, let's put everything in quotation marks so it's not going to uh, mess us up too much. Bless you, smart quotes, which never work quite the way I want them to. Someday I'll have to turn that off in the uh, thing. 
So right now it's not doing anything, but you know, we'll just switch it over. Hello. All right, there's some commented out code. And let's put that in our render form. And save it. Go back to our render content on. That should be render form. Let's see, let's change if we can. Can we rename? Method? Probably we can, but I don't see how to. Be right. Rename. Okay, let's rename it. Render form. And change it. And sure enough, it said, this is what you're changing it from to. Do you want to remove the old one? Yes. So with this particular refactoring browser in Faro, I just renamed the method, and it went to the source code and renamed the method within the source code as well as the reference outside the source code. So let's continue. Once again, render form content on. Once again, this will not change what's drawn because, in fact, this last method does nothing. But again, see, I'm changing the source code. This is the actual drawing method that does everything. I just changed the source code completely. It's now calling three subroutines, three other methods, and yet it's still drawing the same code. So let's see if we can now figure out how to use a form. Well, under HTML form, First thing we'll do is um, just add a single line within the form. Okay, so now it should just create some text. And in fact, we save it, refresh, and at the very bottom, we see indeed it is put enter value here. And of course, same thing in our simple component. Now we can go ahead. So let's see. We want to have an input value. Okay. Let's uh, create an input value. Let's create an initialization method, which we don't have right now, and say initialize and say input value colon equals one. Notice it's red. It's not been defined yet. When we save it, it's going to say, do you want to declare a temporary variable or an instance variable? I want it to be global to this object, so I'm going to make it an object instance variable. And sure enough, it now knows that it has an object instance variable. Okay, now that that's defined, let's go back to our render content on or actually to our form. Now we're going to say self input HTML input value HTML text input value self input value. Notice I'm carefully moving down one line at a time so I can make one change at a time and see what happens. Save it. Did it save? Unknown selector cascade. What does that mean? Okay, that should be a period. A cascade indicates it's being several different messages are being sent to the same object. And right now we're only dealing with one. So we save it. 
And again, it's having a problem. Ah, okay. I see. So we'll put a quote here. Remove the quote there. That's not going to work either. All right. Debugging. Let's see if it works now. Unmatched comment quote. Ah, I love doing unrehearsed demos, don't you? Yeah, there we go. Now, is it going to work? Yes, it did. Fingers crossed, finally. And we had a message dot understood. What did it not understand? Input value. Okay. I thought I had an input value. I do, but I don't have an accessor for it. So instead, let's go up here and create accessor values. That is to say, accessor methods that will actually accessors. Create one? Yes. So now I have accessors for input values so I can refer to it outside this code if I want. So let's try it one more time. Let's proceed. Okay. Yes, it did. Enter value here. Look at that. I had an error in the middle of my web programming. It brought up the debugger. I corrected it from within the debugger and continued and sure enough my web pages both of them are still functional with the new code that's enough for now